Kathy. Uh, thanks for joining me today. We are going to make one of my favorite lunch recipes is the broccoli almond protein salad. And I especially like this um, for women. It is an awesome um, hormone balancing salad. It's also got lots of protein in it. So super easy as well. Um, hopefully a lot of ingredients you already have in your fridge. So we're gonna start today with um, chopping broccoli. Counts for about four cups of broccoli. And of course I've already washed this. So it just says four cups of broccoli uh, just chopped into small broccoli florets. So really I just chop it into tiny little broccoli, just enough um, so that you don't have to like cut it in the salad bowl or anything like that. So I'm just gonna chop these up into little tiny pieces. It's about four, uh, about four cups, which is about two heads of broccoli. So let's see, this broccoli I really like for women. Um, it's especially if you're um, having problems with um, estrogen dominance, broccoli has got something called indole 3 carbonyl in it. Um, and it's great for de detoxifying fat estrogens. So I think most women or every woman out there should be eating a lot of broccoli. <laughs> the other thing you can get it from too is a supplement called DIM. Uh, I'm not even gonna say the very long word for it, but it's the same kind of thing. Um, it just helps your body detoxify bad estrogens. So remember, you need estrogen, we just don't want the bad kinds of estrogen. So this salad is perfect for that. All right, so we've got our broccoli cut up into small florets here. Okay, get rid of those. All right, so we've got our broccoli cut up, put it in the salad. Yeah, it's about four, it's about four cups of that. The other thing that's gonna go into this is um, edamame. Edamame is uh, soybean. I recommend only using organic edamame because the rest of it is pretty much genetically modified. Uh, people get a little bit of afraid of using soy um, because they think it actually, because it's a phytoestrogen, but a phytoestrogen is actually a good estrogen. It ha actually helps detoxify bad estrogens. So if you're buying organic edamame, organic soy, um, it's actually a good phytoestrogen, which your body needs. So <clears throat> when you do uh, edamame, it comes mostly, you can get it shelled already like this, but it usually comes in like these pods. So I just, um, easy way is just popping the edamame out of the pods. Now, I've already done all my pods <laughs> today, so you wouldn't have to stand here watching me do this. So I just, uh, you just take all the little beans out of the pods. You can't, you can't eat the pods. So we've got all our, we've got about two cups here of edamame, which I'm gonna throw in the salad. So this is a great protein source as well, hence the protein salad. So we've got edamame in there. The other thing that's gonna go into our salad is uh, green onions. So we've got our stalks of fresh green onions here. Just chop off the ends. They've already been washed and you can use the entire green onion. So we're just gonna chop the green onion up. Next, we're gonna have half a cup of almonds chopped. So about half a cup, we've got some fresh, I've got some almonds here, but measure it. It's again, it's good protein, uh, good fat, good, source, good uh, source of omegas for you. So we're just gonna chop those up. I mean, if you can, you can also buy uh, almonds already chopped up as well. This is gonna give nice protein, uh, plant-based, I guess, non-animal source of protein with good fats. So we're gonna throw those in, that's about half a cup of almonds into the salad. All right, so that is the salad component. Now we're gonna make the awesome dressing. So let's move some of these out of the way. So the dressing, is going to be, uh, let's see, a quarter cup of almond butter. So I've got my almond butter here. Do about a quarter cup. This is a half cup, so I'm gonna do about half, half of this one. So I've got a quarter cup of almond butter. So this is the almond butter, just make sure it has no like added sugar to it. So again, almonds, good fats, good protein source. 
So we've got our half a cup of almond butter, we've, or sorry, quarter cup of almond butter. We're gonna do one tablespoon of rice vinegar. I've got some rice vinegar here. If you don't have rice vinegar, you can also do like balsamic vinegar, red wine vinegar, something like that, um, that would help. So we're going to do, let's see what it say, one tablespoon of rice vinegar. All right, that, tablespoon of rice vinegar, one <coughs> tablespoon of tamari. So again, uh, it's the tamari, it's just a wheat-free, basically soy sauce. You could also use the coconut aminos as well. So we're gonna do one tablespoon of this. Tablespoon of tamari. We're gonna do one tablespoon of maple syrup. Now, if you don't have maple syrup, you could also use raw honey as well. So a tablespoon of maple syrup. Kind of give a little bit of sweetness to the salad. Um, we're gonna do one tablespoon of sesame oil. If you don't have sesame oil, you could use a little bit of olive oil. And then if you had sesame seeds, you could just add maybe a tablespoon of those just for the flavor. So this is again, one tablespoon of sesame oil. Oh, it smells delicious. Got that. And then next is one clove of garlic minced. So I've got my garlic. I'm going to mince that. And again, I have a garlic press. If you have, um, if you're using jarred garlic that's already minced, then I'd probably do maybe like a, a teaspoon of it. All depends how much you like garlic. So we've got some garlic in there. And then um, two tablespoons of water. I'd already measured out two tablespoons of water. We're gonna add that. Uh, and then we're just gonna whisk, whisk this all together. Just slowly whisk everything together. This really smells like a great, like a peanut sauce that you get in an like, Asian restaurant. It smells amazing with the sesame oil and the nuts and the garlic, and the tamari. So really it's kind of almost like you make, making a peanut sauce. Like that. So we've whisked all that together. And then all we're gonna do is pour the sauce. There we go. Over the salad. And then just toss it all together. And this, makes just an amazing salad. It's just an amazing salad. Uh, nice high protein, plant-based salad that you could um, just put in the fridge. It will last about, I've had it last, like, I've done it for three days, three lunches in a row. So if it's just you, if you're the only one eating it, this would be something you could easily make on a Sunday and have it for like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday for lunch. Um, and there you have it. There is your broccoli almond protein salad. And we will post the, uh, the recipe with the video this time too. And if you have any questions, uh, just send me a note um, on Flock uh, and it's Kathy F. Thanks guys, have a good day.